Today I will be making a 16mm developing reel uh, just by modifying one of those AP reels out of those AP tanks that you get and what I'm going to do is cut down this reel here so what I've decided to do is I'm going to cut it there so that this side equals 12mm I'll cut that off and keep it to the side and then what's left I'm going to cut that off and the piece that I've cut off there I will somehow secure back down there so that <coughs> once I'm finished I'll end up with a reel that can take 16mm film I will also have to cut these down to size too so I can still have the functionality of loading the film on easily and the reason I'm doing this is not actually so much for developing a whole reel of film, you, you just couldn't do that, you'd be doing it in five feet lengths and you'll be doing it for ages, it's simply so that I can just test small amounts of film just to make sure that the camera's working or I could test various techniques like titling because with five feet of 16mm film you can actually get uh, eight seconds so uh, that, that should be enough for doing little tests. And another thing is you can also develop that uh, film that's like APS-C stuff. Uh, you can you can develop that too. Uh, there are other film gauges for stills cameras that are 16 millimeters wide, so you can use it for that. So I'm going to get that cut down and figure out how I'm going to glue it. I probably won't use glue because super glue does not stick to nylon. Uh, I might have to melt it together somehow with a soldering iron. So now what I've done is I've just cut that middle bit off and I've went around it with a soldering iron just to uh, melt it down to a flat level and I've deliberately left the melted plastic coming over the edge because when I put the top half on what I'm going to do is just go around it with a soldering iron and sort of plastic weld it together. Uh, on both sides, inside and out, and that should hopefully work really well. The only thing is though, this has to go on at a certain angle, uh, it has to be facing a certain direction or else the reel won't go together properly, so I've got another one of these which I will look at just to get the right angle. So that's the way it needs to face. And just make sure that when you're uh, melting it down, you get it to exactly 12 millimetres. You want this part to be 12 millimetres wide, because uh, the extra 4 millimetres is obviously in between uh, the spirals there uh, on each side. <coughs> I measured them and they actually go in 3 millimetres, so it's so 12 plus add on 6, it's actually a bit more than 16, but uh, it should still work fine. Okay, so the reel is now completed. As you can see, I've welded the two parts together using a soldering iron. I actually had to make the middle slightly narrower. Uh, you've just got to experiment, basically. Uh, so it works really well. I've tested it already, so I'm going to show you it working again. You can fit about... Uh, 150 centimetres of film on it, I wouldn't put too much more than that. Uh, so basically all you, all you do is you just uh, clip it together like this. And I'll get the pre-cut piece of film I've made up already. So towards the end it does get harder to put on so you have to try and help it. Obviously with real film you'll be doing this in complete darkness. Uh, it's starting to get rather difficult now so what I do is just give it a good pat and that helps. And you can eventually get the whole length on.
Now what you have to try and do is uh, to try and get this bit right onto the reel quite a bit further forward because when you separate the reels it often gets uh, just caught and uh, torn up so I'm just trying to shove it forward uh, a bit. Because as you can see when you try and separate that it's going to break the film. So maybe it could be possible just to try and tuck it over like that. Yeah, it's still uh, messing up a bit, unfortunately. There doesn't seem to be much we can do to avoid that. Because uh, I can't get it on the reel any further, so... Uh, you may end up messing up the end of the film, unfortunately. There's not much. I just can't see much of a way around that. And that's it working. I will maybe test it today. Uh, I will have to open up a can of film and uh, just take a short length out of it so I can get about 8 seconds of testing time just to make sure the camera works properly and that'll save me about at least £30 in processing and postage costs <laughs>